hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is Hitesh and i'm back with another tutorial so in our last video we unwrapped this tower model and uh, i exported it in obj and prepared it for texturing so let's create a new document and import our mesh so i'm going to choose resolution 2048 and import my file So let's go to texture set settings and I'm going to take an AO channel and bake my mesh maps. I'm going to change the output size to 2K and uh, uncheck the ID and thickness. Change the anti aliasing to 4x4 four four and click on bake selected textures. It's going to take a minute to bake all the maps and then we can start texturing. So we are done with the baking let's go back and i'm going to start with the metal material for the top so let's take a new fill layer and uh, i'm going to change the metallic value all the way to one like this and uh, change the roughness a little bit to something like 0 0.5 also make the color a little bit darker something like this i'm going to rename it as base and take another fill layer and turn off the channels except for the roughness And I'm going to add a black mask, add a fill to this. Let's go to our uh, grunge maps and see something that we can use for the subtle roughness on the surface. I'm going to take this grunge leak dirty and drop it here and as you can see that we have a little bit of roughness and stains in our texture like this and what you can do is you can increase the balance if you want it to be more rough but i think i'll just keep it 0 0.5 and i'm going to change the styling of it to 3 and now i think it looks good now i'm going to take another fill layer and uh, this time i'm going to turn off metal normal ao and height now i'm going to change it to roughness and add a black mask then add a fill again and this time you're going to take something like this And I'm going to go to this layer, increase the roughness to something like this 0 0.7 and change the color, make it darker. You can use a picker to match the color of this. And you can change the tiling. To add a little bit of variation now I'm going to duplicate this base layer and uh, rename it to edgeware add a black mask and with a generator I'm going to use this metal edgeware like this now you won't see a difference right now what you need to do is you need to go back to this material and change the color a little bit like this and if i go back to this metal edge wear and change the wear level now you'll see the difference like this 
you can increase the contrast to make it more sharp I'm going to go back to this base layer and make the material a little bit more darker and also this edge wear like this now you can also add a little bit of scratches so i'm going to take another fill layer turn off my metal normal and ao for now and increase the roughness a little bit and turn down the height Add a black mask, go to the fill and search scratches like this. Now you can increase the tiling. So I'll change this to 8. And you can go back and change the height value. If you want it to be more deep, then you can increase the value to the left side. Or you can keep it very subtle like this. Now you can also change the color. If you turn off the color, it's going to blend with this material. So if I uncheck this, then you'll see that we just have the depth, not the color. So you can add any color you want, like this. So I'll just make it a little bit darker like this and in the last I'm going to add a rust material in the tiling to five in the color a little bit to something like this add a black mask go to generator and let's add this dirt and see if it looks good like this I can also add a paint layer and change the blending mode to linear dodge and you can manually paint dirt like this so what i'll do is that i'll just let this paint scroll down and you'll see this stencil here so i'll take an alpha from the substance and use it as stencil and see if it looks good so now we have this stencil here so you can press and hold s to move your stencil and make it smaller or bigger like this and rotate so if i paint like this it's going to add a little bit of rust here like this So I think we are done with this.
so now what we can do is we can turn down the opacity of this paint layer if your rust is very intensive so i think this much should be enough now i'm going to select all the layers put them in a group and rename is uh, and rename it as metal add a black mask go to your polygon fill and i'm going to select these parts like this so these are our metal parts let's start working on the wood so i'm going to go to my smart material since we have only a small object made of wood i'm just going to use any of these smart material drop them here and let's select the fiber and just rotate them so this looks good now i'm going to add a black mask go to my polygon fill select this window and we are done with this now you can open this material go to your base color and change the color if you want so i'll just make it a little bit dark and older now let's use a concrete material for this part and this piece of concrete so let's see if we can use a smart material or a standard material so let's select this drop it here and i'm going to change the tiling to something like this five you can change the luminosity turn it down to make it more darker add a black mask go to your polygon fill and select the object you want to assign this material to and i'm going to change the color of it a little bit darker like this now as for the brick material what i'm going to do is i'll just use a pre-made textures from polyheaven.com so we can use either of these material let's try this one so you select all the texture drop them here define them as textures and import in your project again take a new fill layer base color goes to base color displacement goes to height normal to normal and roughness to roughness I'm going to turn off metal and increase the tiling. Maybe change this to tri planner and change the tiling to 5. Add a black mask, go to polygon fill, select your object like this. And this one looks good. Now I'm going to go back to this material and change the tiling a little bit more now we can use a new material to add an overall dirt so i'm going to use this rust course drop it here and change this to tri planner styling to three I'm going to add a black mask then generator and let's see which one we can use so I think I'll use this dirt go back to your material change the color to add dirt like this 
and I'm going to turn down the opacity like this so let's try rendering this and see how it looks i'm going to click on this camera icon and render this model out so this is our final render i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and in the next one we are going to start working on a new model so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one